So I'm calling on behalf of my boyfriend, um, who's a builder and has income protection through his work. And about a year ago, he had an accident, um, not at work, um, and he's been off since then, um, recovering. The problem is he doesn't think that he's ever really fully going to get better to the extent that he can go back to work full time. And then he's worried that if he goes back to work on the building site, then he'll get injured again, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Um, so he wanted to train for a new career. My question is, can he still receive income payments while he's training for this new career? That is a great question, Sarah. And I'm afraid I'm going to give you an it depends answer. Uh, just, just to explain to anyone who's not familiar with income protection insurance, it's a type of insurance that... Uh, gives you a percentage of your average earnings if you are unfit to work. And typically it's 50% or two-thirds of your average earnings if you're unfit to work. Um, Now, there are different types of policy depending on how much bluntly uh, your boyfriend paid for his premium, Sarah, because you pay more for better quality policies. Some policies say that they'll continue paying out if you are or if your boyfriend is Uh, unfit to do any type of work. Some will say that they will stop paying out uh, or or they'll continue to pay out as long as your boyfriend remains totally unfit to do the sort of work he was originally employed to do, i.e. a builder. So if he's going to retrain as making something up, an accountant, what what is he thinking of retraining as, by the way? A forester? A forester. That's that's a great job. Um, <laughs> if he's going to retrain as a forester, uh, it all depends on what his policy says. If his policy says, we'll pay out as long as you're incapable of doing um, some sort of work, then the moment that he's fit enough to, to become a forester, he's going to lose the benefit of the policy. If the policy says, we'll pay out as long as he's incapable of working as a builder then even if he gets a job as a forester, it'll continue paying out if he's not fit to do a builder's job. But they're both quite physical jobs, aren't they, Sarah? They are, um, but it's physical parent in a different way. I don't really understand that. (laughs) Um, But the issue is... I I, I love the grasp of detail here. (laughs) Sorry. Um, The issue is is that um, he wasn't the one that made the contract. The contract is between his employer... Yeah, it, and, it always is. Oh, I see. So if he resigns, he ceases to be eligible. Yeah, but also he doesn't. He hasn't seen the contract. He doesn't know what's in it. Um, right. So, so that's easy yeah. to deal with. Ask the employer for a copy. That's they won't uh, give it. Will they not? That's no, weird. They're, they're being really odd. That's really odd. Um, okay. Uh, the does does he know who the insurance is with? Yeah. Uh, has he tried contacting the insurance company? No. Can he do that? He can try. I mean, they might say no, but he can try. Uh, and the other thing to do is, depending on how aggressive he wants to be, he, he, he can say, and he'd be right to say it, it's an implied term in his employment contract that he's entitled to know uh, the basis on which he's employed and the remuneration, and he's entitled to a copy of that uh, contract. Because undoubtedly, his employment contract will say in it, beyond a shadow of a doubt, uh, we provide you with income protection insurance subject to the terms of the insurance policy. So if the insurance policy doesn't pay out, we don't need to pay out either. And what that does, and I'm going to sound a bit legal here, Sarah, that incorporates the insurance policy into your boyfriend's employment contract, and that means he has a right to see it. Now, of course, having the right and enforcing the right are two separate things. Uh, He can't go in there with a machete and say to his boss, give me a copy of the contract or else, because that would give rise to other problems. Um, But uh, it it, it is right, though, that if he leaves the current job, if he resigns, uh, and it's a policy that was taken out by the employer, he will almost, almost certainly become ineligible for any other payments. So if he's got to resign from the builder job in order to start as a forester, he'll lose all rights to payments under the policy. Now, there is a middle ground here. Uh, It's not easy, but what some people in your boyfriend's position sometimes do is they ask their employer, and it does need a cooperative employer, so it might not work here, but they ask their employer to try to strike a deal with the insurer to buy out the rights under the insurance policy. So what happens is he goes and gets some medical evidence saying he's never going to return to work as a builder. How old is he, by the way? 
25. 25. So he's got another 40 working years. He's never going to get a uh, return to work as a builder. There's 40 years of payments due under that policy till deemed retirement. Uh, he will allow, he'll strike a deal with the insurance company to buy him out for, say, 10 years worth of payments. So instead of paying 40 years over the next 40 years, they pay a lump sum immediately. And many insurance companies are happy to do that. Uh, the problem is it needs the employer's cooperation because the employer has to be a party to this deal. And you can't force the employer to do that. If they're going to be uncooperative, there's nothing that can be done, I'm afraid.